Today I'm going to show you how to draw a quadratic graph. That's a, an equation in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The highest power of the equation will be x squared. So that's why it's called a quadratic equation. So let's have a look at an example. So example 1, draw a graph of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5. And we've got to do it from x equals minus 3 to x equals 3. So the first thing to do is to draw up a table of values. Uh, we need to draw the graph from minus 3 to plus 3. So these are our x coordinates. So let's just fill these into our table. And all we need to do next is work out the y coordinates for each x value. So I'm going to start off with the positive numbers first of all because these are easy to substitute into this equation. So first of all I'm going to start with x, uh, x equals 3. So if I substitute it into our equation it will be y equals 3 squared minus 2 times 3 take away 5. So if you've got a calculator you can type it in as it is. So it will be 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 5. So that will give you minus 2. So our end co coordinate is 3 comma minus 2. So let's just plot that on. So next we're going to do x equals 2. So let's substitute this into our formula. So let's go 2 squared minus 2 times 2 take away 5 so our next point is minus 5 so it would be 2 minus 5 so our next x coordinate is x equals 1 so again if we substitute it into our equation it will be 1 squared minus 2 times 1 take away 5 so our next coordinate is minus 6. So if we plot 1 comma minus 6, which is there. So next we're going to do x equals 0. So we've got 0 squared minus 2 times 0 take away 5. And that gives us an answer of minus 5. So we've now got to do uh, negative x coordinates. Now these ones you've got to be careful with. So let's start with x equals minus 1. So the reason why you've got to be careful is because when you square a negative number it becomes positive. So we've got to do minus 1 squared. Now if you just type that in on your calculator as it is, it will give you minus 1 which is incorrect it should be plus 1 because it's minus 1 times minus 1 so you have to put a bracket in when you type it in on your calculator so then you've got minus 2 times minus 1 take away 5 so if you type in type it in like that on the page so it would be minus 1 squared minus 2 times minus 1 take away 5 and that gives you minus 2. So our next point is minus 1 minus 2. So next we've got x equals minus 2. So when you substitute it in, make sure you put the minus 2 in a bracket when you square it, otherwise it won't work. So if we type it in like that, so get the bracket around the negative number. So your next coordinate is 3, so it's minus 2, 3 to plot. And finally we've got x equals minus 3. So again just make sure you put the minus 3 in a bracket when you square it. And we get a y coordinate of plus 10. 
so our final point is minus 3.10. So once all the points have been plotted, um, just join them up. So if you do this freehand, because it should be the curve. So this curve is called the parabola. So if you kept going it would be symmetrical about the point x equals 1. So all quadratic graphs should come out as u shapes. If it's minus x squared it will be up the upside down.